be discussing about oncogenic viruses. So what are oncogenic viruses? Viruses that produce tumors in their natural host or in experimental animals or which induce malignant transformation of cells on culture are known as oncogenic viruses. So simply we can say oncogenic viruses are viruses that are capable to transform a normal cell into a malignant cell. So how this transformation takes place that is how a normal cell will get transformed into a malignant cell by a oncogenic virus. So what happens is first the virus will infect the normal cell. As a result it expresses a protein that cause cell to proliferate or block apoptosis. So as a result as the apoptosis is blocked the normal cell death is inhibited. As a result the cell will become immortal that is no cell death occurs and as a result of, as a result of this continuous multiplication of cell will takes place and cell starts piling up. The primary change in a transformed cell is the change in morphology. So usually the transformed cells have altered shape and they lack the property of contact inhibition. We know cells divide or cells multiply by cell division. The normal cells have a property of contact inhibition. This property of contact inhibition will prevent the enormous or uncontrollable proliferation of cells by cell division. So this, mal this malformed cells or this uh, malignant cells lack this property. As a result, the cells will start piling up. There will be piled up growth of cells resulting in formation of microtumors. Moving on to what are the major viral cancers? First one is cancer of cervix, cancer of liver, certain leukemias and lymphomas like Burkitt's lymphoma, Kaposi's Carpo, uh, sarcoma. What are the types of oncogenic viruses? Two types are there, DNA oncogenic viruses and RNA oncogenic viruses. RNA viruses. The common RNA oncogenic viruses are retroviruses. Example, human T-cell leukemia virus, HTLV-1, then avian leukosis virus, murine leukosis virus, murine mammary tumor virus. Next is DNA viruses, Papova virus, human papilloma virus, polyoma virus, simian virus. Next is pox virus, example Yaba virus and molluscum contagiosum. Next is adenovirus. Then herpes virus, common herpes virus. Last one is hepatitis B and C. Next is what are the properties of transformed cells or what are the properties of malignant cells? First one is altered cell morphology. That is the fibroblast will become shorter and the parallel orientation is lost and we can see chromosomal aberrations. Second property is altered cell metabolism. The, there will be increased growth rate, increased production of organic acids and acid mucopolysaccharides. Third point is altered growth characteristics. There will be loss of contact inhibition. There will be formation of heaped up growth that is piled up, uh, piled up cells called as microtumors. Then capacity to divide indefinitely in serial culture capacity to grow in suspension or in semi-solid agar. Next property is antigenic alterations. That is, there will be appearance of new virus specified antigens like T antigen, loss of surface antigens, cells become agglutinable by lectins. Last property is capacity to induce tumors in susceptible animals. So what is oncogenesis? Oncogenesis is the result of genetic changes that alter the expression of proteins that plays critical role in, con in controlling the cell growth and division. What are oncogenes? What are viral oncogenes? It's also called as V-onc or cancer genes. It encodes the proteins which trigger the transformation of normal cells to cancer cells. 
Next is cellular oncogenes. Cellular oncogenes are the oncogenes isolated from cancer cells. And proto-oncogenes are the genes found in normal cells. That was a brief discussion about carcinogenic viruses. Thank you.